All right, so in this video, I'm going to talk about database queries, which are a tool that you can use to actually get data out of your database super cleanly without having to worry about, um, you know, messing around with dragging super, you know, specific fields onto your application and then using the navigator or something like that. A query just lets you uh, specify the record that you want based on, you know, data that you give in the query, and then it just gives you that information right away, super cleanly, uh, very nicely. So let's uh, get into that. So what I'm covering right now is um, the remainder of 11.10 in the textbook. Uh, now, yeah, it's just the, the rest of that, sort of the back half of that uh, part of the textbook. So a query in a database, um, you know, the full name is database query, but we shorten it as a query, allows you to retrieve data from a database based on uh, information that you specify, so like certain fields or records that you want information from. You know, you can put in information for it to sort of filter out and give you useful information from. Uh, and we'll actually be using SQL to get data from that. But we'll, we'll learn more about actual like SQL itself and queries uh, in chapter 12, but really what this more is, is I'm, you know, the, the textbook showing you like how to do a certain functionality that you will learn more about later on. So it's okay if you don't fully understand everything that's happening in this part of the uh, textbook just yet. We'll get more into that next, uh, in the next chapter. All right, so I'm back in the um, data set designer window that I showed off before where I made the uh, relation. And now what I want to do is I want to create a query to get some information from, uh, you know, the actual salesperson table right here. So what I'm, you know, the salesperson table is a bit of the main table. So I want to get that information from this table right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to the salesperson table adapter right here. Um, I'll right click fill dot get, da uh, get data and then click uh, configure. And I'm configuring sort of the, the default presentation of information right here. And then I can go, you know, they have this whole thing that lets me enter a SQL statement to select what data is being loaded in. Uh, this is essentially saying select all of the um, fields, the sales ID field, the first name field, the last name field, and the country code field from the uh, salesperson database object. I'm selecting all of these fields from this particular, uh, you know, table. But if I want to modify that in any way, I don't need to necessarily know SQL just yet. I can actually just open up the query builder right here, which is where this window in particular comes in. Um, the query builder shows off the table right here, uh, all the fields inside of the table along with this high, uh, bold faced sales ID um, primary key. This all shows up inside the diagram pane. We have the grid pane, which shows off all of these, uh, let's see, yeah, just some information about the different columns right here. Um, and then some SQL pane for us to enter information into there, a results pane, and this execute query to help test everything. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try to set this up so that when I display information um, about the salesperson table, it doesn't show the country code, but it instead does show the um, actual country itself, which is what we have in the location table. So I need to add this location table into the query builder right here. And I can do that by right clicking some empty area in the diagram zone uh, and add table. There's only two options. Really, there's only one option because um, we already have salesperson in there. So I'll just uh, select location and add that in. Oh, I accidentally added it in multiple times. Let me do that one real quick. But here we see the two tables together along with the relation between them. Now, you might see that there is some SQL code that has actually been added into um, that has actually been added into our zone right here. There's this from 
uh, salesperson in or join location on all this kind of stuff, right? This is essentially saying uh, there's a relation between the salesperson table and the location table. Salesperson is the uh, child, location is the parent, uh, where we consider every record in salesperson to be joined with the records and location such that that salesperson's country code is equal to the country code of location. So every, um, it's almost like saying every salesperson record is a child of the location record, the, uh, the actual country right there. But now what we can do, uh, in this, I'll move this down a little bit right here, uh, in this column view is all of the columns that we are including in our query. And right now it's just all the ones in the salesperson table right here, but we can actually, uh, if we want to get rid of the country code, I can do that. And if we want to add in the country, I can do that. So now the data that we will get is, um, the sales ID field, the first name field, the last name field, and the country field. Uh, first three being from the salesperson table, the last three being from location right here. We can see that in SQL right here. Uh, for every salesperson joined to the country with the same country code as the salesperson's country code, uh, we're taking in salesperson's sales ID, first name, last name, country, just like that. That's the idea of what we're doing with the uh, query. So now if we want to test our query, we can actually click this execute query button. And this will give us an example of getting the query from our uh, actual database with the proper relation set up and with the proper query. So now the results of our query, rather than being sales ID, first name, last name, country code, as what we might have expected, it now says, uh, you know, we've gotten rid of country code just like that and added country just like that. And now all of these records have the country displayed instead of the country code. So that's super helpful. So now that we know that the query looks nice, I'm going to hit OK right here. Um, I can f uh, finish as well. And now we can actually um, you know, save and close out this window. But what happens when I open up the data set now and I go to salesperson, notice how the salesperson, uh, these things down here, country is under the salesperson table. Rather than the country code, country is under the salesperson table. So the way that we changed this default query means that now, rather than having to see the country code here and then having to cross-reference that with this location's country code and then find the country from there, which would probably be a lot of really annoying calculation, instead, we can just look at country directly using our query of our database that we just set up. So that's super helpful and it's going to make it a lot easier for us to do, to work with things like data grid views. So let's see now what it looks like if I um, actually take the salesperson thing right here, I'll put it into the data grid view. Um, and then I will, uh, let's see, auto size columns mode, I'll hit uh, fill like that. With this, um, I'll go to doc in parent container, uh, da, 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 edit columns. Uh, I'll do some of the stuff that I showed off before um, and get back to you. All right, so here is the result of me um, following the steps that they laid out in uh, 11.10, which I highly recommend that you follow along with those. Um, but of course, this is what it looks like. We have these auto-sized columns right here. Uh, sales ID, first name, last name, country. The add, delete, and save buttons are removed because we don't want this to be edited. And I highly recommend you do that every time you have something that you don't want edited as well. But now I'll go to start. And that's what the application looks like. So yeah, just a, a cute little thing for us. All right, well, that is uh, how to get database queries, um, how to actually make a database query and actually make your uh, data look really nice, um, especially when it comes to having these relational 
uh, databases like this where you have data in other tables and then you have these ugly um, foreign keys that show up in the main table so you want your queries to actually be able to take advantage of the other um, data in the other tables like that. So that's exactly how you would do it. And you don't need to worry so much about like super advanced query stuff. We definitely don't need to worry about SQL just yet. We'll get into that a little more next chapter, but other than that, we're, we're totally fine. So yeah, that's how you would make a query.